Wisconsin one step closer to legalizing medical marijuana. This morning, state Republicans introduced a restricted plan to specifically provide relief for those with chronic illnesses. WMTV's Shana Najawan heard from representatives on both sides, and Shana, Democrats are worried this bill is too restrictive. That's right. The state-run program would establish five dispensaries across the state. And while some Democrats share that concern, Republicans are confident they can get it done. For pretty much for the last six, eight months, we've really been digging into medical here in Wisconsin. And Monday, Republican representatives John Plummer and Tony Kurtz introduced their new bill. This program will not be a tax revenue um, program. It's, it's designed to be a break-even program since it is a medical uh, program. A program that would allow those suffering from chronic illnesses to use the controversial substance. Medical cannabis is something that can help not only tens of thousands of veterans, but tens of thousands of cancer patients. The bill would create five dispensaries across the state with state-implemented pharmacists prescribing the cannabis. Independent growers licensed by the state would be able to distribute the non-smokable forms of marijuana, such as oils and gummies. We do not need um, to settle for a policy that picks winners and losers in the state of Wisconsin. Democratic State Senator Melissa Agard says the proposal is too restrictive for several reasons, including its limitations for those with a criminal history and the specific list of conditions one would need in order to obtain it. She says with so many limitations, residents will spend their money elsewhere. It would still have people in Wisconsin either purchasing from the illicit market right here in our state or overwhelmingly driving to legal states across the border to purchase cannabis for responsible adult usage. Republicans are working to drum up support in both houses and are confident a compromise will be made. We've had conversations with the Senate. Um, I know that uh, Mary Felskowski had uh, the last two sessions a bill. So I'm hopeful that we can get something done but with both houses. Governor Evers has said recently that he would support medical marijuana legislation. A 2022 Marquette Law School poll shows 64% of Wisconsinites support legalizing it. That bill would have to clear the Assembly and Senate, and then be cleared by Governor Evers before it could take effect. Live in the studio, Shannon Najawan, WMTV 15 News.